chainsaw man head right close up with the with the blade moving right so i'm in the landscape page pencil eraser hit pause if i go too fast so the orange plate is where we start right so we'll just go with the back of it right so it curves that way and we have these like three shark fin type curves here at the back so then this comes across the front right and then goes right along up to there and then this comes down like so and then you join here to sort of here sort of it's like a third if you broke it up one two three All right so we go Right. So like this space is like half the size of this. And then we have those black sections inside. So we got three of them. Four of them, my mistake. And then this comes down. Right. Now you have an option. You can color them black or you can try and put a glowing sort of eye inside there. I'll just color them black because that's the way it is in the picture. I'll color it black now and I might put a glowing eye inside afterwards. Sometimes he has a glowing eye and sometimes he doesn't. So. Right, like that. Right, so then the bottom part of this jaw, right? So we got like, we'll go, yeah, we'll go like diagonal there. And then his bottom lip sort of comes across around to there. And then it's real sharp out here. And it goes out the back down like that. And we go over and down to that point and there's like some extra lines on this just to make it look a little bit three-dimensional like that and maybe something there something else coming around the back and then all those teeth right so right so we got like one two three four, five, six, and a small one there. Each of these is a sharp tooth. And you can see ones sort of in between as well, right? So there's one, the ones coming down. So there, and like. And then one at the back there. There's like another line here. So in the engine coming out from the back of his head, right? So we've got this handle that goes up around the chain and stuff. So it's the best way. So we'll go. You can see some chain going in behind there, but we'll just go, we'll just go this way for the time being, right? 
and then we'll step it down and around the back. Right, there's a handle that comes up here, but we'll just draw the main parts of the engine first. It steps out, bump. This comes down. Right, we need more all detail lines. So mechanical objects are always tricky, right? So this goes out diagonal, down. Should go around, back into his head there. And this comes down to there. This goes in, curves back, spikes out a couple of times, kind of like this. Wavy. And goes up to there. And then this goes back and meets the orange section like that. Lots of details inside here now. So. Right, so we'll go. This is like an edge here, and then a line there. Right, like so. Up. Okay, and then this detail goes off the back there. There, so there's no like crazy detailed simple explanation for this. You just kind of have to draw what's in here as best you can. So it's like a circle here, right? Like an ellipse, it's got a dot inside, like so. And then another sort of area around it. back down to there then another one of those things here smaller right and they haven't finished this because it connects with another part so this kind of goes out in to here and goes down around and then this comes back everything's kind of like three-dimensional right down to there and then another line that joins that here like so and some more Dot there. This goes down like that. And then another area here. Right, and then some more lines back here. And then at the box here. There's like a chain that moves his jaw. Like I don't know if this is like. And then this goes down. This will have all lines like so. Right, and then the handle just here. Goes up like that and then around the back. And this will go disappear behind his chainsaw somewhere here. So it doesn't really connect with his head. This goes around there. There's another circle around that. And some more lines up here. 
and then another section of metal here. Okay. So before we draw the actual chain, we'll just get his neck and his body in, right? So his neck and his body. So we have his white shirt collar going down that way. The back of his neck there, front of his neck, sort of here. Right in this white shirt collar there. So his neck has all this cord inside. We'll just get the rest of his shirt done. And his like shirt and shoulder goes out there. Right, and shoulder on this side. Goes out like that. And then his shirt collar in here. Bumping down the phone line and like the seam of his shirt there like that. And then we have to do all these cords inside here. So it's like three main sections. So one, one, two, and then there's like the jaw ones that go up here. And then the neck ones that go down. So then you just kind of break these up into into like ropes like this. Okay, another one there. And like the gaps are just black shadow, right? So. Right, and then sometimes there can be these textures coming along these ropes. Okay. Right, so the actual chain saw itself. So we'll go, so we'll do like the inside straight sort of section first. We'll go off the page, it goes real long, right? Okay, and then around there we have the moving chain parts. We have another sort of layer here. So the way to draw this sort of stuff when it's moving, right, is. So with these sort of hatching lines, right.
and then you'll have sort of movement lines and stuff on all of this. Okay, and then down here as well. So similar sort of thing. All right, and then if you want splatters of blood and stuff on the chainsaw. Maybe like some scratches on his mask. Right, but there you go. That's how to draw Chainsaw Man close up. Hope it was helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.